today we've had all kinds of weather. Uh, with, it's been like raining, snowing, sunny. Welcome to Sweden in May. Someone said that the Swedish summer is the best day of the year. Do you have something to say about that? No, I agree. We are still out on a tour where we are performing for elder people. But yesterday I met Peter and Jonas from the dance band All Stars. We're in Jonas studio and it's so beautiful and so tidy. Uh, can we get a short studio tour? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. So uh, we are standing in the kitchen. Well, small yeah, like, kitchen. It's like the hallway, kitchen, um, hangout area, I guess. Yeah. Um, so uh, here is like everything you need for a studio kitchen. You have a coffee maker, you have a fridge, uh, and you have a microwave. I <laughs> have a, a sauna in here. A sauna? Yeah, because it's Sweden and I guess you need a sauna in the studio. I don't know. <laughs> For real, he have a sauna in the studio. And over here we have like a storage yeah. room for uh, equipment and gear that is not uh, currently in use. So I have a bunch of more drums and different drum pedals, stands, uh, amps. Uh, and this is the main uh, live room for recording drums and uh, amps and singers and stuff like that. It's not like the biggest recording room, but I mean you can fit a whole band. Uh, if you want to. <laughs> and it's really nicely done with all the lighting and everything. Yeah, yeah, you need, uh, need to have the mood lights uh, to keep people in uh, good spirit when recording. <laughs> <laughs> so if and you have like a favorite color, we can, we can get that sorted. <laughs> and then you have a small control room, yeah. but very beautiful. And look, it's a guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the control room where uh, all the sound is uh, being collected on the computer and uh, then you uh, throw a bunch of effects and stuff on it and try to get a balanced mix and yeah, it's not more difficult than that. <laughs> Peter and Jonas from 50% of the band All Star. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, nice to see you. And you have such a beautiful studio. Thank you. Why and when did you start with music? With music? Uh, when did you start playing? Uh, piano lessons at uh, fourth grade, I suppose. Ten years oldish. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's been with me ever since. Okay. So did you get hooked right away? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay. Jonas? Mm? I uh, started playing drums when I was about six years old. I got my first uh, like real uh, drum kit, like a real small one, but still with like uh, real heads that you can tune and real stands and everything. Cool. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, I've been uh, hooked on the drums ever since and never done anything else really. <laughs> okay. You, you, your, your parents must have been very understanding. Oh yeah, and all the neighbors loved me. <laughs> all the yeah, neighbors. Absolutely. Yeah, they did. Um, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you played dance band, Swedish dance band before? Um, no, actually my, uh, my dad uh, is, uh, is a uh, bass player and he played in a uh, Swedish dance band. So that was like the first music that I was... Uh, I guess exposed to from uh, like a very young age. Peter, you have played in a bunch of bands and uh, for a long time. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of bands, not a bunch of uh, dance bands. No? Uh, two dance bands. Two and, dance bands. And I have been uh, in and out uh, like a substitute mm -hmm. for uh, a couple of other bands for uh, short sessions. Yeah? Yeah. How, how did you start playing dance band? Uh, we started uh, in 2002, I think, uh, we, me and uh, a couple of friends uh, were doing some market research. How, how, how can we 
live on playing music? Yeah. What's the best move for us here? Do we start a cover band? Do we? What, what do we do? We want to play music. And then we made a thorough market research, went out to see every band uh, and, uh, you know, asked about the finances and how much do they get paid and... Uh, Practical stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. All kinds of things. Uh, and all the roads led to dance band. Maybe we have to explain what is dance band, Swedish dance band, what is that? Dance band is um, uh, a social dancing, uh, couple couples dancing yeah. socially. And um, we are there as a band to to provide the music, plain and simple. So, so it's like music that are supposed that is supposed that you do something to the music. Yes. In this case, dancing. Yes. Yeah. Functional music. Are there similar kinds of bands in other countries? Uh, similar, but not uh, exactly the same. Yes, there are ballroom dancing and Argentinian tango and. Yeah, lots of other versions of square dancing or but this is not a choreographed uh, sort of dancing no I mean uh, all the dance styles have their techniques and moves and but but it's freestyling yeah, yeah so it's not quite the same as ball when I thought about this question except for Scandinavia the most similar thing would be like wedding bands maybe yeah. yeah. In like England and United States. Yeah, and like bar mitzvah bands and stuff like that. Yeah. Part, yeah. Maybe. Mm. Not quite the same, but similar in the way that they play popular music in a way that you can dance to, or maybe supposed to dance to. Yeah. The main purpose is that to get people to dance and enjoy the dancing. Yes create the feel and the mood and the right tempo and uh, to make they uh, experience their hobby as uh, as good as it can get so this is not mainly focus on listening it's mainly focus for dancing yes for yeah. the feel of the of the crowd yeah they we, we are there to provide a feel with sound and light and to make yeah, the atmosphere uh, be as pristine as as good as it can be for them to experience what they want to do they want to dance yeah they want to dance yes and if it's good listening to also then it's a, it's a bonus big bonus yeah but the focus is on dancing yes. first yes for me who have just been substitute in dance band and also i was in a how do you say in in-house band at hotels in Spain and Greece for Scandinavian guests so we played dance band music the artistry I thought was tricky because you can't take over but still you need to be some kind of artist on the stage so that people can enjoy it mm. that's a fine border yeah. do you agree with that yes yeah. how many songs do you play for in one night between 50 and 60 songs. And how many songs do you have on your repertoire normally? Uh, I'd say that the average band carries 100 songs. 80 to 100 yeah. songs, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you get some requests or... So. Yeah, and you substitute and you want to play for from your new record and you, you use uh, what's popular today on the radio and you discard some songs and you take in other songs. And but do you do a playlist that you follow through most of the gigs? I don't like to do that. You don't like to do that. I know many dance bands do, but yes. you don't like to do that. I don't like to do that because it keeps me on the toe to to feel the atmosphere of the room. Okay, we need a slower song now so that we, yes. yeah. I mean that that flow of the of the entire night has to be somewhat consistent uh, but um, you can also f see how they are dancing how they are reacting maybe there are some age differences between places mm. and they react better to this type of songs and you have to be very in tune with the audience yeah yeah but you have like these 80 songs say that you have 80 songs that you are out playing and then maybe you change 
the repertoire a bit. Mm. Not all 80, I presume, because yeah. <laughs> people also want to hear what is connected to your band, which probably is about half of your songs. Yeah. So like 25, 30 songs you can't get rid of because yes. they they yes. want to hear you perform those oh, songs. Oh yes, you live and die with them. <laughs> yeah, you live and die with them. But do you change the rest of the songs? And how often? Well, I'd say, I'd say yes, you do. But some of them are like packed in a bag for a rainy day and you take ah. them out uh, sometimes. Uh, but uh, you have, uh, you have a, a focal repertoire, a, a bass line that um, carries the songs that people are uh, inclined to hear. Yeah. They want they wanna, They expect yes, to hear them from yes. you. Yeah. How many gigs per year do you think is uh, full-time work? 120. 120, yeah. yeah. In that you may have two short holidays in a year? Yeah, I think most of the bands have that, yes. Yeah. Like two weeks in the spring and yeah. maybe three weeks in the autumn or yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. But not in the summer and not in December? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, at Christmas, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, around Christmas, but yeah. not before in December. No. no, because that's high season. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Mm. Tell me a, a typical, typical weekend of playing dance band. Typical week yeah, would start on a Wednesday, Thursday. We see each other in the tour bus, and we get ready. Uh, roll off to the first gig. Uh, might be on Thursday evening. Uh, unpack, unload the gear, uh, play the play the show. Uh, back in the bus and repeat. Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, and then we drive home. Yeah. <laughs> so you come home, you come home yeah. Sunday yeah. afternoon, some Sunday yeah. evening maybe, yeah. or Monday. and yeah. uh, or have or two Monday. days off before the next yes. week. Yes. yes. Is it common for dance band to play at the same venue several nights in a row? No. Only like on boats or something like that, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you have a new venue, venue every night? Mm, yeah. And you travel with your own gear? Yes. So all the PA, microphones, lighting, backdrops. Yeah, yeah. they provide you with the stage and ele electricity. Yeah, and some coffee sometimes. And some coffee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you gear up every night, yeah. you gear down every night, yes. sleep in the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Rarely hotel. Rarely, yeah. Yeah. How, what do you think then when you're searching for equipment that you're gonna travel with? What are you looking for? Ooh. Uh, the heavy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy to s small, s small things. Uh, small and functional. Small and functional, easy to pack, easy to carry. Uh, and reliable. Reliable, yes, of course, and uh, should pack a, a large sound. Uh, sometimes we play at pretty large venues, and. Um, and sometimes it can be outdoors. Yeah, even, exactly. So. Yeah. Sometimes outdoors, and uh, well, we have to be able to do that also. Mm. So, uh, and we can't uh, go on tour with uh, three or four different setups. No. So it has to be very flexible. How long do you think it takes to gear up before a gig? An hour, an hour and a half, including sound check. Oh, that's very fast. Yeah. That's very fast. Part of the lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> and 45 minutes packing down? Uh, yeah, something. One like hour. That. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking for when you're searching for instruments to bring on these kind of gigs? Same there. Same there? Yeah. Flexible. Should be able to play all, all, all sorts of styles. Uh, small in size. Yeah. <clears throat> and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, easy to carry, easy to pack down, up and down, and flexible, mm -hmm. good sounding stuff. As you saw of Jonas' drum kit, <laughs> he can't bring that to the gigs. So I know for a fact that he ha actually have a limit about uh, of how many toms he can bring. Four toms, is yeah. that right? Uh, 
in my contract it says four, but I only get to carry on three. So <laughs> <laughs> might need to negotiate that. <laughs> yeah. Can you explain the kind of music you play in dance band? No. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I can try, but but uh, every band uh, has uh, their own style, um, and we are leaning towards the, maybe the more bluesy solely feel uh, but with a touch of uh, maybe 80s pop yeah i don't know mm. we have to because we have to play uh, fast songs and slow songs and everything in between so uh, the repertoire has to be pretty well balanced uh, and appealing to to a lot of people yeah but i think we are maybe one of the bluesier bands if you have to you know pinpoint Mm. Okay, yeah. uh, a friend of mine compared a band playing party cover songs with dance band and he said that the only difference between a good dance band and a good cover song band is that the cover song band plays with open hi-hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh... That's the only difference. <laughs> Well, he's not wrong. No, he's not wrong. <laughs> no. The cover song band may be a little dirtier sounding yeah, than the dance band, but, but the, the, the playing otherwise and the songs are nearly the same. Yes. Mm. Because you can dance to everything in a four count. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, pretty much everything. Uh, so maybe there there is some, uh, some tempo limits for us that we can't play faster than... 180 something like that and um, we can't play slower than reasonable <laughs> slow dancing yeah, tempos yeah. <coughs> yeah. and there can't be too many weird stops and, and no uh, weird rhythms and stuff no or odd time signatures or anything yeah. like that yeah we have to keep the time signature yeah. and there are a couple of rules that you have to know about uh, but that's because it is a functional music mm. uh, to help them dance. Uh, what is your favorite keyboard? <laughs> uh, well, right now it's the Yamaha YC61. Uh, yeah. Uh. What is your favorite snare drum? Uh, for playing live, it's my Tama Starphonic uh, aluminum snare drum. Uh, it's really... Uh, it's really, really versatile. It's it's really fun in the studio as well. But in in a recording situation, it can actually be a, a bit boring sometimes because it sounds uh, sometimes it sounds like too good or too too nice. <laughs> okay, you get the uh, feeling that it sounds like every snare drum in the world. Yeah, it, sort it, of. it basically sounds. It always sounds like a good, you know, balanced, nice snare drum. But sometimes, <laughs> like in a recording situation, you might not want to have that nice snare drum. You might want to have a. a something with a bore, more bite and punch or ring to it. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's amazing live and for... Uh, I used it in, in uh, like with uh, All Stars in Dance Band and I use it like uh, in a metal setting, for example, because usually, uh, I mean, the drums will always be the loudest thing on the stage. Uh, and, uh, you know, snare drum is one thing and cymbals is another thing that really can uh, be a challenge to keep under control uh, volume-wise. Yeah, but this snare is, uh, or basically like all, all aluminum snares are really, really good and balanced because they're not. Uh, they're pretty gentle to the Yeah, ears. they're pretty gentle sounding, and they, they, uh, I mean, they have a, uh, they have a lot of volume, but uh, it's not like the perceived volume is not annoyingly high. So, mm. it's, uh, it's a good functioning snare. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I might bring the bell brass next to us. <laughs> yeah. But not now, because uh, now I think that dance band is accepted more on its, on its own. It's sort of, diff you just choose to do a different style when you're playing dance band and it's accepted that you do that. But dance band have had pretty bad reputation. Mm -hmm. Especially maybe in the 80s and 90s. I think it's better now. What do you, are you, do you agree with that? Yes, totally. Yeah. Uh, it's, I think uh, you don't get uh, as many weird comments that, oh, you choose to play dance band. It's, uh, I mean, people know it's hard work and we, the people that have heard us uh, knows that we, uh, we 
good musicians and we, yeah. we play nice and we, we do a great job. Yeah, but as you said before, the challenge when you play dance band is maybe not to be extravagant, uh, ex expressive in the way you're playing. The challenge is to play that groove and that song as smoothly as possible so people can dance to it. Yes. And it's another type of skill. I'm not saying it's easier or more difficult, it's just another type of skill. Yeah. Why do you think that dance band had bad reputation before? Uh, hard to say. Part of it, of course, is because the funny outfits and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, the 70s, 70s and 80s, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they dug their own grave there. Mm. And per perhaps like when back in the 70s and 80s when there were a lot more bands yeah. as well. I mean, there were probably a lot more crappy bands mm. just trying to, I mean, uh, let's we can start a dance band, that's easy money. Yeah. You don't yeah. even need to play. I mean, do you play an instrument? No, okay, great, you can be the bass player. Come on, let's <laughs> jump in the tour bus and let's go play. So how about seven quick ones? Sure. Ready? Yeah. No. Summer or winter? Summer. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say winter then. <laughs> you are allowed to do, you are allowed to say the same, but <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite venue to perform? <laughs> Lundegård camping, Erlon. Ah, cool. Yeah. I don't think I have like a favorite studio environment. Yeah, the studio. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I mean, if uh, absolutely. I mean, the studio can be uh, a bit more re relaxing than live because it's not as much, you know, rigging stuff up and down. And so, yeah, I'd say the studio. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, dark or milk chocolate? Dark. Dark. Downhill skiing or cross country skiing? Downhill. Cross country. <laughs> Football or hockey? Football. Uh, hockey. <laughs> Favorite place for a holiday? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I would say like, the family cabin that we have. Ah, that's, yeah. That's uh, I don't need to go abroad <laughs> <laughs> for vacation. Uh, uh, Hur that maybe. Ah, to, yeah. yeah. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> uh, this was this was nice uh, the, and the very nice to speak about dance band with you. I learned some things. Uh, I asked you for the Swedish word of today. What's that gonna be? Fyrtakt. Uh, Fyrtakt. And explain for you, Ooh, uh, It's a four count. Yeah. Yeah. Four, it's four, four by four. Four by four. four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you translate it directly, I think it's four stroke. Okay. Yeah. And roger that. Roger that. <laughs>